hey guys what's up my name is Sanjay Raj in this video I want to teach you how to create a simple blog application using HTML and CSS now this is going to be a part of a series on my youtube channel so make sure to turn on notifications and also subscribe to my channel by clicking on that red button down below to be notified on my next video in this series so i just want to make this a video series because this is kind of a good project to take down uh, right now so just to show you guys a demo of what we are going to be building today this is what we are going to be building today which is going to be a landing page so it's got a normal uh, logo on the top called blog ui and then we've got two links so when we hover over them we'll got we've got a little bit of animations and then we have latest posts such as two post and then we can also read more so uh, in the upcoming series we will be uh, making the merchandise page the contact us page and also at the bottom we'll be making a place to comment on our post and also to uh, we will also create a uh, new page in order to submit posts so that's the project we're going to be building so if you want to stay tuned for the whole series make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so with that said let's just get started so i'm i have a blank folder and i'm going to be opening up an index.html also a style.css so in the index.html we want some main parts which is going to be the uh, nav bar uh, so I'll just use emit and get uh, not style.css go to the HTML use emit and get that I'm going to name the title as blog app and I am going to link this to style.css and inside the body I want to create a nav with a class of nav and inside that I want an h2 uh, h2 with a class of logo which is going to be the actual logo so blog U, ui right after that we need some links right which is going to be the merchandise and the contact as links so separately for that i'm going to create a div with a class of uh, what, did I, what did i call it nav links and then we'll be having separate links so i'll put an a tag with dot uh, a links and for href which is where uh, we want it to be redirected to so i'll put an hashtag which will not de redirect the page the link anywhere else we want two links which is going to be merchandise i'm going to copy this down so i'm going to sorry i'll type in merchandise i want to get this down twice i want this to be link sorry not links the merchandise section right after it i want to contact us so that's the navbar it's pretty much done right after that we need to target the specific blog posts right here the heading and also the separate blogs so i'm going to be opening up a div with the class of blog posts and we need an h1 which is going to be the title of our latest posts and right after that we need three divs which is going to be div with the class of blog so these are going to be the specific blogs so right after that I want to put an h2 and just put a normal title to the blog post such as how to make money online which is going to be kind of the most made blog post I think right after that I need a p tag so I'll put lorem just some random text of 35 35 lorem text uh, I want to copy this div and put it uh, once so if we actually open this up in live server I don't want to put it in the side because it's a like a huge project uh, like first project so this is how it looks without CSS so this is it this is the only thing that we need I'll just only change the title um i'll just say how to make money coding right after that we want to switch to our css so if we actually go to our css um, i'm going to put an asterisk which is going to put the style for everything we need the basic styling out which is going to be magic margin zero padding zero 
box size in border box and we want a universal font family to be Montserrat if you don't have the font you guys can search it up on YouTube uh, on Google or else I'll leave a link to the font in the description down below by the way all the project files will be in the description if you guys want to check it out and after that we'll target the nav and I want to give some basic styling to it which is going to be width 100% and I want to give a background color of full white so FFF that's like the hexadecimal code and we want to give a box shadow which is going to give a slight box shadow to the bottom like you guys saw in the demo one pixel for the top three pixel for the right which is not going to be shown that much 67 pixels for the bottom and minus 26 uh, pixels for the right so the left and right will not be shown so that's exactly what we want and for RGBA we want 000, 0, 0, 0 0.226 so let me actually take a look how it looks I won't show that much because we need to add some height and stuff right after that we're gonna put display flex and align item center justify content center and we wanna put the flex direction to be column if you guys are not used to flexbox i'll leave a link to one of the best videos of traversy media also if you guys want me to make a video on flexbox then leave a comment down below and let me know so we'll actually see how it looks this is exactly how it's look how it looks i don't know why the box shadow is not working mm. okay so the box shadow is actually i got from this so you can uh, leave a link to this uh, css matic to this video in the description link in the description of this video um, so you guys can actually adjust the blur radius and the spread radius so we want a slightly uh, better spread on the navbar so the ver vertical length we want it to be like really we want it to go up a little bit and we want the horizontal length also to be like centered so we'll actually copy this code and I paste it right here and replace it with the nav bar. So now if we do take a look, it does stand out from the rest. So right after that we need some styling. So we wanna target the nav H2. I wanna put the font size to 27 pixels and the margin top to 20 pixels margin bottom to be 20 pixels we want a little bit of letter spacing in a minus value so we want all the letters to be like uh, like next to each other close to each other so minus 2 pixels and we want the font weight to be bold and we want kind of an underline so I'll say text decoration underline and the hex code I've given is one double five 4e6 so let's take a look at how it looks yeah the headline looks uh, as same as the final project now we want to target the links which is going to be nav and the a tag we want to target the a tag and we want to put the text decoration to none which is what so the basic styling you give to all the links we want to put the color to be black the margin left to be 20 pixels and the font weight to be bold so if you actually see this is how it looks right after that we want to target the nav links which is like the parent of uh, the a tags so we want to target that in order to give some margins so I'll put nav and target the nav links class I'm gonna put margin top of 17 pixels and margin bottom of say 30 pixels yeah so that's uh, that's how it should look I should actually reduce the opacity a little bit uh, so use the spread and then copy the code and then you could paste it we, we might be using that 
website like mostly around this uh, project so you guys might uh, get used to that uh, as you do move along in this project so right after that we want to target the blog post section which is going to be kind of straightforward not not that much complicated so i'll put a comment saying blog post section and we want to continue uh, by targeting the blog parent class i want a margin of 25 pixels uh, background color of corn silk which is going to be like an off white uh, yeah off white color you want a padding of around 10 pixels and a border radius you want the blog post uh, the individual post to be a little bit rounded so if you actually do take a look uh, you guys uh, you guys should be able to see it um, I'm not sure why you guys aren't so the blog oh, okay it's supposed to be corn silk as you guys see you guys can see around a little bit of a opacitized um, like what do you say mm -hmm. okay so I have after that you want to make kind of like this to come in the middle so what you want to do is you want to target the blog post which is the actual parent I missed it so we want the width to be 60% and we want a margin on the top to be 35 we want it to come a little bit down and margin on the left and right we want it to be auto so that, so that it's uh, like vertically aligned right after that you want to target the h1 of the blog posts uh, which is going to be the underline uh, the, that's a main style there so the text align center and after that we want the width to be 35 percent uh, to get uh, together with the underline so we want the margin to be auto so we uh, want it to vertically be underlined or uh, vertically to be aligned we want the margin bottom to be two pixels and we want a negative letter spacing so we want the words to be like uh, next to each other so as you see this is how it should look right after that um, we want to target the blog h2 which is going to be this um, so let's say blog h2 we want this to be relatively uh, bigger font size because uh, kind of going with a different style now as you guys would have probably seen here a bigger uh, like title and then a smaller description and then read mode so if you actually see a bigger font size would be 50 pixels and then a width of 50 percent and a margin bottom of 20 pixels so if you see that's how it should be looking like if you guys followed it follow the uh, video right after that um yeah one thing i forgot to add the button i just like forgot that so a button with a class uh did i give any class no just need a button um what what the button's gonna say is uh read more so read more so I actually copy that paste it right below the p tag in the second one so I'll go right there and then I want to target the which is uh, the paragraphs is all done because it's all formatted properly there's nothing to be included there I want to target the buttons which are going to be the last one so bottom we want to kind of give a margin um, a margin and a basic padding so I want to target the buttons so we didn't give any class so I'm directly targeting it um, basic stuff would be margin of 20 pixels we want it to be kind of away from that margin of 20 pixels padding of 15 pixels border of none and we want a background color of a RGB 255 comma 246 sorry it's supposed to be 255 246 and 210 right after that we want the cursor to be pointer which is uh, which basically means that once we hover over it it will be like a click uh, mouse right over it we also want to change the color a little bit I don't want it to be RGBA 
RGB we want to change the color a little bit so that it stands out as you guys know it's blending in with the color so I'll just hover over it I'll make it a little bit dark uh, if you're using Visual Studio Code you might be familiar with that so as you guys see we have finished that I also want to add a uh, add a hover effect so I'll copy that uh, sorry that's too much copy that paste it and put hover that's like the hover selector and what we want to do we want to change the padding so i'll copy the padding paste it want it to be around uh, 18 pixels and we want it to be smooth um, so i'll put a transition of 0 0.5 seconds is i want it to be 0 0.5 so as you guys can see, uh, it's not working. Of at least 20 pixels. Mm. Okay, so we don't need the hover because it won't work because we are targeting the margin directly. So we have finished the first uh, first part of this series, guys. Uh, we have built this. I think I think this took less than 10 minutes to build. Um, so it's kind of an interesting and easy project. I hope you guys enjoyed this stick until the end of the video uh, If you want to know the Update on the next series make sure to subscribe to my channel and also more videos are coming up So make sure to turn on notifications and if you like this video click on that like button um, Follow me on Instagram guys mainly and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye